Can't hear any music. There ain't no music. This thing actually is trying to like bend the wheels. Yeah, like I said, I like I like driving electric cars because like it's it, it's it's one gear. All right, here we go. Here we go, y'all. What? Yo! Oh! How hard I gotta hit the gas for that? I hate this. Oh my god, it does. That is GT's website. We're gonna need to see a few cars first. Yeah, probably. Probably. First lap of the day, we get the nerve theme. And we're fucking up. This car's fucking heavy. I'm driving a goddamn truck. Let's see how fast this thing goes. It's gonna top it at like 135. I said like 135. It was about to hit 135 going downhill. You know, I told my friend I wouldn't be able to drive with this song playing in the background. Because it would like... But I go to 135. It was like, when I drive, I'm like... At least tryharding, I'm like intense. And I don't, I don't need music in the background. I guess here it's a little different because it's not like... I'm not going super tryhard, I'm kind of like... I wouldn't say I'm chill, but I'm not in super tryhard mode. I'm not sweat mode. It's kind of like in between. A casual tryhard. Yeah, that reminds me. Me and my friends, when we played Smash, we had a term for when we wanted to play a serious match. Like, you have friendlies. Where y'all just playing around. Y'all might be playing with y'all mains, but like nobody's taking it seriously. But then you got money matches to where you're playing seriously because, you know, there's money on the line. But we, we came up with a term for when it's a mix between the two. It's a serious match, but there's no money on the line. So instead of calling them friendlies, we called them seriouslies. So whenever we wanted to go hard, but obviously we're not gonna bet money between one another, we were like, all right, let's do let's do some serious leads now. Serious leads. That's what they called them. That's what we called them. Oh god. Come on, we haven't put a 
Enthusia Nurburgring song you, uh, lap on YouTube in a while. Let's 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 make it this one, and it'll be a first try lap too. So it's bad enough that this car is heavy, but it's it's rear engine, so it's like the back end is just like. She has a donk. 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 Oh shit. Ugh. Oh my god, it's like, I, I if I hit the gas while I'm turning, the back end will, the, the back end wants to kick out, it's like, I'll drift if you want me to, and I'm like, no, dude, you're an electric, direct drive car, I, I should not have to worry about wheel spin, I don't want to have to worry about wheel spin. Why do I sound like Elmo? I'm just sliding everywhere. Like, it's a controllable slide, but, like, I don't want to be sliding. See, see that? See that? That's a, that's a put my pants moment. I will say this I don't feel like. I'm in great danger of losing the rear, so like there is, there is some balance to it. It's just I would really feel a lot more confident if the back end wasn't as loose as it was. And that's my problem with these tail happy cars. Like I need, I need grips. I think that's why I prefer high downforce cars. Like you, you don't really have major issues with grip like you you turn and then the front end tells the car where to go not the, not the back end you ever see that meme where it's like when you're drunk at 2 a.m. and y'all leave the club and it's a picture of this guy like I'm going on an adventure that's the rear end of this car it wants to go on an adventure. And I'm just like, bro, I'm just trying to go home. But here comes Sebastian Vettel! All right, so I got to remember, stop the song, start the finish, hit the marker. Oh, don't bottle it at the end. 